Hello. Hello, everyone, and live from my grandmother's basement. It's December, which means that it's Christmas. And in honor of Christmas, Christmas. and not because this person was on like twice in the last <laughs> week and was doing it has all of this incredible stuff about Christmas. Friends, today we're celebrating Tommy McNamara, who you saw last night on a Mary's painting party. That's him right there. That's him. That's Tommy McNamara. You just saw him. And we're going to listen to some songs. We're going to watch some videos. And we're going to talk with real life fan of Tommy McNamara. Not that we're not living and also fans. Right. But a fan who has seen this person live and in fact was the first person to take me off to him <laughs> months ago. That would be Purple Hat. Does that technically make me... Tommy McNamara's only fan. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you saying you're the Walter? That was that was a that was a much grosser joke, but yeah, we'll run with that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't just say something bad. Give things I don't know. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How are we doing? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Purple hat. Forrest how looks are mortified. you? I, I was making an only fans joke. I don't know what. Oh, you were about. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that was the joke, grosser joke. I didn't realize that you didn't understand. Okay, guys, we broke. I'm Forrest old. I don't know these internets. <laughs> I don't know these internets. Hi guys. It's okay, old man. What? We're talking about Christmas today, and we're talking about. Tommy McNamara. Jake, tell us how you were introduced to Tommy McNamara. God, that's a great question. Probably CGP. Mm -hmm. um, mm. When was the first time we saw Tommy on CGP? Was it uh, Enchanted Bonus? Was it before then? I don't remember. It's hard to remember what order things went in on the CGP days. Right? Um, <laughs> because I know he's on Enchanted oh, no, Pumice. He's, he's uh, on Sandwich he's in, Night. He's on the um, the Blind Date episode. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the first time he shows up. That's the first time for yeah. a shirt, this piggyback ride. That's that's <laughs> the first introduction I had to Tommy McNamara. Yeah, and you then saw him live, correct? <sighs> I mean, besides that night. Yeah, besides that night, I've seen him do three or so different stand-up sets. One at Joe Romrill, uh, Mary Houlihan, Sam Taggart's weekly show when they did that. That was fun. And then once at when they were doing those CGP showcase kind of shows. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to do those uh, CGP adjacent like stand up showcases. And they were a lot oh, of fun. Oh, I was so jealous. And uh, I jealous. definitely had a good 20 minute conversation with Tommy in the bathroom there. That's a fun one. Oh. Aww. <laughs> That's very sweet. Uh, that explains the OnlyFans comment. I mean. <laughs> 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 yeah i still don't get it <laughs> forest uh, someone will send you some links it won't be <laughs> um well i'm i'm hella excited how would you characterize tommy's comedy tommy's comedy would be i don't know like tommy's internet presence is uh is a lot of fun he's like almost satirical combative if that makes sense he does a lot of like uh playing scumbag characters poorly on purpose and mm -hmm. it's very fun to watch he's uh I he's good fun that. do you have a particular example that comes to mind because i did not ask you to prepare examples no you didn't ask this. me to prepare no, anything i kind of just no. got a link um, <laughs> like the like literally like two minutes before, before we went before i'm not we no two yeah, minutes is optimistic yeah there's a there's a handful of Twitter videos of him, like um, pretending to be a jerk while trying to dunk a basketball, yep. and like getting thrown into a pool or something like that, and that's a lot of fun. Um, some of the best stuff I saw, Emily, I think you pointed it my way when uh, back in the before times, uh, I was asking you to help me prepare some stuff to do an interview with him. Yes. Oh and, yeah. Uh, you sent me a seven minutes in purgatory video of his. And oh, ho, ho. maybe we'll watch it tonight. 
purgatory video you say a mm. seven minutes in purgatory video is this a segue you say this is a segue right here friends tommy mcnamara six years ago can we get a did bumper? a bit that uh <laughs> i don't have a bumper for that we do not have a bumper. I should make one. Yet. We need a bumper. We need a Segway bumper. <laughs> we need a Bryson. <laughs> we need a Bryson. <laughs> um, but six years ago to get today, he did Seven Minutes in Purgatory, a thing which I'm sure he never thought would come back when he once again had to do comedy mm -hmm. without being able to see or hear an audience. It was surprisingly great training for... Zoom, Zoom mics and Zoom shows. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Because when we were talking about this, it was, what, in February? Yeah. That's wild. Yep, yep. So let's all uh, buckle in. Let's, let's watch this seven minutes in purgatory. Then we will talk about Tommy's bio and see some videos that Tommy himself asked us to show. Yeah. So here we go. Really exciting. <laughs> People. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited to be here! Round of applause for Ian Abramson, huh? You guys weren't that into him, huh? I got them there. I'm sure you weren't. I'm so excited to be here. I've always dreamed of auditioning for The Voice, and I feel like this is going to be for me. Tonight I am going to audition for The Voice, and I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs. This is Alicia Keys, If I Ain't Got You. I know that my fate rests in Celo's little hands, so hopefully this song will translate now. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If that ain't you, baby. If that ain't you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, but I don't. Want everything, cause everything means nothing. I ain't got you. Okay, I know it's a comedy show. I was fucking with you. <laughs> Don't you guys get it? I'm fucking with you. I'm so excited to be here. When Ian first told me about this show, I was like, a comedy show with no audience? I feel like I'm at comedy sports. Zing. <laughs> <laughs> Go crazy. I like how he knows the reaction he's getting. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, we love this for you know, because usually when I'm doing a comedy show, I like to get real physical with the audience. You know, I'm usually like that. I like, I like to go in there and show them the twins, you know what I mean? I call this guy Danielle, and this is Tiffany. <laughs> How many girls have thrown their panties at the stage yet? Okay. <laughs> Probably a bunch, huh? I am excited to be here. I had a weird week. My dad told me this week, he told me that I text like a high school girl. That was weird. I think it's because I use a bunch of exclamation points and emojis, and I keep asking him if I can go on birth control. It's just like... <laughs> that should have gotten more. I don't know how much it got, but whatever it got, it should have gotten more. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I do really respect girls who go on birth control, though, because I've been trying to take a one-a-day vitamin lately, and girls who take birth control have to take that every day, and I've been trying to take this one-a-day vitamin every day, and already I'm pregnant, so it's just like... <laughs> uh, this is so weird! God damn it! You wouldn't even know. You this whole time, I'm like, can you really not see the audience? Right? <laughs> He's got the this is true though, this is kind of a weird though. thing. The first time I ever had sex with a girl, this is true. The first time I ever had sex with a girl, she told me that she had to take plan B, which was killing herself. Oh. <laughs> she knew she was never going to get this dick again. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> what a night. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited that summer's here. I don't know about you guys, I had a brutal winter. I had a brutal winter. I had to spend my whole winter in a walking boot because I fractured my ankle drinking. 
I had to get this walking boot from a place called the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. <laughs> I told the doctor that sounds like one of my weekends, folks. <laughs> 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 I love how he's already playing he's with the camera. Yeah. Okay. Can I get the foot in the camera? Who knows? Whatever. Can I get the foot in the camera? Some people want it all, but I want nothing at all. It was my first time with a doctor in a long time, though. I was worried I was going to have diseases I didn't even know about. Doctor was going to be like, yo, you fucked around and got nougat disease. I said, what? <laughs> You'd be like, no, seriously, you have type 2 diabetes. For sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and, uh, type 2 diabetes is kind of cool, though, because it's DIY. <laughs> <laughs> I lied to the doctor once when I was 15 years old. I lied to the doctor. This is so weird. Because uh, when I was 15 years old, my doctor was like, are you sexually active? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Which in retrospect is such a weird lie. Like, what was I gonna gain from that? Like, the doctor was gonna text my buddies, like, yo, your boy is a legend. <laughs> Getting it wet at 15? With next doc? You don't have to do that. I never got laid in high school. I had braces for all four years, and people would make fun of my braces constantly. They'd look at my braces and be like, yo, you're fat. <laughs> By the way, the camera adds 70 pounds. I weigh 120, but it's weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a real world confessional right now. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that Sandy doesn't want me because I like could give it. And she, uh -huh. you know? All right, you know what? I'm gonna tell this joke because this joke never works, and this time I don't have to hear that it doesn't work. <laughs> How many of you guys are familiar with the Manson family? I am familiar with the Manson family. Okay, I read a book called Helter Skelter about the Manson family. There was a woman in the Manson family named Sadie Mae Glutz, and she had Charles Manson's baby. And starting at age two, she said that she would fillet this baby. Oh, I was gonna which do is it crazy. this morning. It's like they say today's kids are spoiled. Oh, trigger, trigger warning that we forgot to do up top. Apologies. You think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, man. I saw a pornographic video once. It was called The Man with Two Dicks. What was weird about this video? I like the person in the audience. Is, oh. I don't want to spoil it, but it was about a man with two dicks. And what was weird about it was when the woman unzipped the guy's pants and saw that he had two dicks, her reaction was like, ah. Like pleasantly surprised. Like, wouldn't you be fucking horrified? It's as if that girl would be like, yeah, it's not really size that matters with the dick, it's more of a numbers game. <laughs> she was nice, she was a good surprise. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like if I unzipped a girl's pants and she had two vaginas, I would just be like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Is this lamp on okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna close with something. Folks, I don't do a lot of controversial humor, but tonight I feel like I can't see the crowd, so this is kind of a time for me to really say what I believe, you know? I have a lot of tenets, I have a lot of beliefs, I have a lot of feelings, I have a lot of feelings, feelings. Some people want it all, but I... Okay, so I'm going to do some controversial beliefs. And you guys, I don't care if you like them, because that's what happens. Here are my controversial <laughs> beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler was a basic bitch. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nine Eleven was really me. A little frowny face in the bottom corner. <laughs> yeah, the frowny face was so good. <laughs> And finally, this might be the most controversial, but Solange could get it. <laughs> right? 
Thank you guys so much. I've been here, man. So thank you so much. Guys. <laughs> So that was Chicago, but six scant years ago, I apologize for looking yes. back all the time. I am 100% certain that our cat, our is cat just walked out of the room to attack okay. this tree and bring it all. He was, he was eyeing that tree. He so, was eyeing the fuck out but of the that name tree. he said at the end was of course, Ian Abramson, who has appeared on who wants 269 with Martin Urbano. And. Oh. And he was Jeff Cock. No. <laughs> no? No, that's a different Ian. Fuck. <laughs> that's Ian Lockwood. Oh, I thought he was Ian Lockwood this whole time. It worked because <laughs> they were both in Chicago. I know it's Ian, it's Ian Abramson, not Ian Lockwood. Those are different people. Wait, who the fuck is Ian Abramson? Wait, wait, let's, let's just rewind it. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now we're going to share some videos oh, that we have. Ian Abramson. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to share some videos that we got direct from Tommy that he thought would be worth a, worth a, worth a look. Mm -hmm. um, You're right, Thrill. Gatsby is being rude as hell right now. Uh, he not only almost destroyed our set, but did not off. come on the table. I agree. Which is what I was trying to get him to do. Because what that else point of the cat is there, but then... To get us internet points up, uh, let me let me share uh, his bio first, though. Sure, yeah, go. Let's, let's, let's do his bio. Tommy McNamara is a New York comedian. In 2019, he released his debut album, "Who's Tommy," with a special thing records. He is a contributor for Onion Sports and hosts the popular podcast "Stand by Your Band," which we can confirm is a super awesome yeah. podcast, especially if you like. Uh, if you're a music person, which I am not, and yet I still greatly enjoyed this podcast. Tons and tons of CGP people are yeah. on it. That's how we found this podcast. Yeah. I'm like, oh, hey, look. It was one of our main sources when we Joe were doing Rumble. the podcast version. Oh, Rumble's great on the They Might Be Giants. To, uh, have you guys listened to his uh, to his comedy album? Uh, not heard uh, who's Tommy. Tommy's comedy album is the first half is just a standard comedy album, and then the back half is the entire album, same jokes again in a musical form. <laughs> and it's outrageous. It's on Spotify if you want to listen oh, to it there. So um he did he did a vinyl pressing a little while ago. I don't know oh. if you could still get your hands on one. I don't remember <laughs> if I ordered one or not. I thought oh. I did. Never got uh, one. There is a full hour of his special online on YouTube. Yes. Is, the album, I, is it the album recording? Or? I, I don't. It, it be the must have been the album recording. And I don't know if it's for Who's Tommy or the other one, because now I'm doubting myself. Because um, I'm like, wow, he had two full fucking albums in two years. Didn't he just put what? out a Christmas record? He did just put out a Christmas yeah. record. Sorry, that's what I was counting as an That's album. his other album, right? Yeah. It's like, no, it's not the Christmas record. I don't think it's the full recording. Maybe it is, but record. uh but let's let's share some more. In 2020, he released a solo podcast project called My Spectacular Life <laughs> that was featured in Vulture and the AV Club. Mm -hmm. Tommy is a regular at Caroline's on Broadway, where he headlined the club in 2018 as part of their breakout artist series. He began doing comedy in Chicago, where he was a cast master at the prestigious Lincoln mm. Lodge. Mm -hmm which we know about from a Miss uh, Meg Stalter uh, and co. Uh, and a regular at the Laugh Factory. Tommy has performed at San Francisco Sketch Fest. San Francisco, that's where we are. Uh, oh. oh. No, wait. <laughs> no, it's not happening next year. Why are you looking at me like that? Of course it's I not. I just realized it won't be happening hey, next year. We got year. one in 2020. We got lucky. I, I literally... Yeah. <laughs> not even thinking yeah. to myself like fuck, oh man can you imagine if the gether has. tribute had had to get delayed i'm so glad that got under in under the wire i was thinking I about agree. edinburgh F. a ton F. yesterday because uh colin it's who was on yesterday <sighs> everyone do it is that only to buy. dollars Fifteen dollars. It's time $15 to that's an amazing for a for comedy a vinyl. vinyl is fucking yeah. Nuts. And if someone doesn't get it for someone else as part of a Christmas present, I will be 
angry and you do not want to anger me because already there is no SF sketch fest. Oddball Comedy Festival. He was, uh, and he was a Chicago winner of Funnier Dies Road to Oddball Tour, the 26th annual comedy festival. Don't know which one that is, but it's the annual comedy festival, so it must be great. <laughs> Limestone Comedy Festival and many other festivals. His music and comedy shows Tommy McNamara Unplugged, Tommy McNamara's Beach Bash, featured in the New York Times. Let me spend and let me spend Christmas with your family. Sold out venues in both Chicago and New York. He misses you, which I find. Touching. I miss him too. I yeah. Um, also, a uh, big important point, uh, happy birthday, Thrill House. Oh, yes. yeah, we haven't hit that yet. Happy birthday, Thrill House, <laughs> happy and birthday Thrill happy House. birthday to Robbie, Robbie Hoffman. Robbie Hoffman. Yeah. Robbie Hoffman and icon Thrill House. Call her Thrill House. Thrilly. <laughs> yes. Uh, Two legends. I had, a, I had a thing. I had a thing about... Oh, it was about Edinburgh. Yeah, about how, how you're bummed that it won't. Well, there will be an Edinburgh, and there will there was a Dublin Fringe That's Festival true. featuring our dear friend of the pod and dear community member, Ali, Ali O'Rourke, uh, incredible Dublin comedian. But and let's... I'm just full of anger and sadness at the lack of comedy festivals in my life. So let's take a look. But you know what I'm not angry and, and saddened by? Bye. This video, which was sent to us by Tommy himself as a an example of something that he did that he loves. Yeah, this is so let's all check it out. the world is just like high school. <laughs> this is a song about the world. It's called This World is Just Like High School. Yeah! <laughs> That was amazing. I'm a super here for he's just sort of the king of misdirection. And this was also this was from 2016. And it was it was Tommy on piano, Eddie O'Connor on guitar, Dan Friesen on bongos, and it was produced by Matt Byrne and filmed by Derek Smith. You guys want to hate me for a second? That's the year I graduated high school. 2016? (laughs) Yeah. What a terrible year to graduate (laughs) high school. Oh my god. (gasps) I don't even yeah, know what I, I would do if I was starting I graduated college. college this year, so we're 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 <laughs> over two. 
<laughs> I don't. That doesn't make me hate it. it. Makes me just feel bad for you. Purple. That's terrible. Yeah, that's a bad string. On, string. On. Were you just terribly depressed your entire college years when you should have been drinking and partying? Should I take this as a sign not to go for a master's because the world will end a third time? Yes. <laughs> so go for the comments down below. <laughs> the world is trying to tell you to get out of academia, Jake. Okay, that is what the world is telling academia. you. <laughs> Uh, Let's go back to the comedy. We'll do this another time. <laughs> but you know who? Uh, something, something, something. Let's mm -hmm. check out this next video, and then we're gonna do a fun little thing. Well, and I, we have two more videos to get through. Two more videos, and then we're gonna do. And our then we're gonna do our thing. fun little thing. And just to preempt this fun little thing, Jake, are there any other humans in your vicinity no. who could join you for a fun little thing? I live alone. <laughs> I'm also currently quarantining. You live so. alone? I live alone. Yeah. Damn. New, you don't new need world masters. World. If you can afford to live by yourself, you don't need a fucking masters. Mm, I could live more comfortably. Oh, this is the one. <laughs> yeah, just play this one. Yeah, this is a good one. Here we go. The Sand One mixtape. Yo, I'm here at beautiful Pier 4 Beach in downtown Brooklyn, and I got a question for you, New York. What's one thing that Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and LeBron James have in common? They could never play on sand. <laughs> because nobody would come with me. <laughs> Here's a better angle. <laughs> this one's called Around the World. <laughs> All right, I just challenged this dude to one-on-one -on -one sand basketball. Let's see what happens. If I get by him, I win. If he steals the ball, I'll run in the water. Let's do it. Are you dead ass? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> this is some random. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's boys behind him. Two. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call lockdown defense. Is this during lockdown? No. Okay. I was like, wait. Yeah. Right back into the water. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. That's all for today, boys. Come back to the sand. Because beach volleyball is beach volleyball. Damn. That was amazing. Damn. Beautiful. I love aggressive public. Uh, oh yeah, public videos. Yeah, and I love. I mean, I'm glad you highlighted that as part of his persona, Jake, because he's so good at it. He's so and also good at that it. he's not. Uh, this was not shot during lockdown. Yeah, well, I mean, that was because I was like, wait, one. I've seen this video. I saw it before lockdown. Yeah, this is July sixth, twenty seventeen. And two, they're not wearing masks. <laughs> so my, I, I like went through an anxiety. Tommy, no. But speaking of basketball, we have another one. Another another basketball video. I think uh, this is This is one of the social media videos. This is one of the social media videos and this is one of my favorites because of its its simplicity. So let's uh let me zoom in a little bit so it's bigger for everybody. Okay. Let's take a look. What's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That one's good. 
<laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> Let's watch it again. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. It's just so good. What's up, bitch? <laughs> there couldn't have been a better take. Like. <laughs> But I have to, I have to swap from it because otherwise that's gonna be the whole show. Is just watching that one on loop. What's We've up? You've got bitch? another twenty-four minutes. <laughs> we can watch this five hundred well, more times. But there's also one more video that he sent, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is a four non-blondes cover. Oh boy! And is uh, it's it's very good. I believe. <laughs> Days in my life is still oh, Union Hall. Uh, it's so funny. I can like recognize Union Hall on site now, despite having oh, never been to New York. <laughs> I miss Union Hall. <laughs> I miss Union Hall. <laughs> I've never been there. It's a great sweater, right? Being live for that. that. <laughs> There's so much magic that's happened in that room. I'm getting <sighs> emotional thinking about Aww. having not been there for a year. It's it's weird. It's a very I've been thinking <laughs> a lot about like uh how how real it's been a whole year since we've been able to do anything like that. Right? It's yeah, it's I'm feeling it. It's weird. I had a, I had a similar reaction because my first thought as someone who did karaoke a ton was like I want to memorize that so I can go do that the that is the instead of the real version or the original version at karaoke because I just love that rewrite so much. I love his I love that song. And it's like, wait, but so I, that's good. not not possible. It hasn't been for a year. It's weird. But you know what both is and isn't weird? What we're gonna do. <laughs> what next. we're gonna do next. Friends. You might have heard last night. Tommy Give a little description of the second uh, song on his uh, Christmas album. Involves the creation of a dance craze. Friends, we have not listened to this song on purpose so that we may discover this dance craze with all of you. Yes. 
I'm not prepared to dance. <laughs> Did I lose you? There was another human, Jake. You are welcome to join us in the attempt of this dance. I'm gonna I'm going to politely decline. <laughs> You're not going to run think... out into the hall and start banging on people's doors and ask them to come out, but with a mask, and then start dancing six feet of, feet apart from each other. That's not, not what you're going to do. I'm not going to knock on my landlord's door. Um, <laughs> and I Why am not? decidedly in bed and I'm <laughs> going to dance right now. Um, I'll spare you the excruciating details, but that's where we'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, apparently there is a tree part and a dance part, friends. Let us together discover this dance. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. It's time to do the Christmas tree dance. <laughs> we had a bumper. Yeah, I had a bumper for that. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a bumper trainee. So let's. I'm your bumper lad. I'm your bumper boy. <laughs> What a bumper infant. This this chair is not gonna go under this. No, table. I know I'm trying to <laughs> stand on the chair. Just stand on the chair. No, it, it will not support that. Okay, that now good? we're good. Now okay. we're good. Nothing's gonna fall. Okay. All right, friends. I wear my, my green oh. pants to be festive and my Christmas Eve sweater. That's my mom's sweater. But now it's my sweater. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's actually move that chair too, so just in case. And now here we go. We'll learn to do the Christmas tree dance. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. It's time to do the Christmas tree dance. So grab your partner and get ready. I'm going to lead you like the reindeer with the red nose. One of you is Santa and the other is the tree. Now get your dancing shoes on. Do the Christmas tree dance for me. Ha, ha. Now, tree, put your hands up over your head. Now, Santa, eat a cookie of gingerbread. Your belly. Go get it. I don't know how many. Arms up there for me. Now Santa, put some tinsel up on that tree. Now tree, make sure to stay real still. Now Santa, go up top with an angel. Now tree, please don't move a muscle. Now Santa, do the old Saint Nick hustle. You know it. People everywhere do the Christmas tree dance. The tree stays still. Everybody clap your hands. No clapping tree. Don't you start clapping, Mr. Tree. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, this has been Tommy. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday. Tree, are you starting to move? Is that the dance? Have we completed the Christmas tree dance? We uh, we have learned how to do the Christmas tree dance. Forrest, why are you moving? The song ended. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't able to fully complete it, and I apologize for that because we do not have any cookies in this mm -hmm. house right now. Yeah, we would have had to have put everything on pause and baked some cookies. I, I oh, we're no Santa to participate. Whatever that right? is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I goodness. wanted to move because I didn't oh, want goodness. it to start something that's not by. <laughs> thank you. Oh, the dance never ends. Well, thank you, local unknown. Um, Emily, I think you have to just do the rest of the show now. Okay. Wait, you gotta well, wrap you the can, up. You can talk. Okay, you well, I mean, I guess I'm not a Christmas tree anymore because I'm on rant, so. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure and a delight to be here. Yes. But as most to some of you know, I have a thing to do in about 15 minutes in oh, a Discord and a pre-show, and it's going to be fantastic. And I want to see all of us creative types out there. Forrest, come on. 
Come do a little doodle for us tonight. You think you can I'll do doodle. That? You'll doodle. Yeah, I'll doodle. I'll doodle. Hell, is yeah. tonight a doodling night, everyone? I love the doodle we nights. We're so excited for the pre-show. Maybe a little bit of doodling. Maybe a little bit of uh, creative expression in other degrees. Everybody, oh, get oh, amped, oh. get excited, and I love you guys. And we love you. what the hell is that? <laughs> this is the angel. <laughs> Because I didn't have anything else more angelic behind me. Well, we do have this really because, creepy to be clear, Christmas doll, but it's very heavy. And so to I be clear, want to make him hold we it. had never listened to that before. That was incredible. First off, and second, <laughs> you guys are gonna like my Christmas tree when it's done. It's only going to be Star Wars ornaments, and I have a Death Star star. Oh, the tree it's going to be wonderful. Amazing. I do and like that. Maybe we'll see it next week. Cross our fingers. Are you sure you don't want my angel? Mail it to this. Mail it to the East Coast. That'd be a nightmare. I actually have a <laughs> severed uh, head like that, but it has a it has a mask on it. Mm, you should take it's off it. the mask. Let it be free. Maybe I'll show that off next time. But see you guys. Oh, bye. bye. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for joining us, uh, friends. We have oh my god, a vehicle crashed into a building in San Francisco. <laughs> that was the text I just got. I was about to be like, mm -hmm. oh shoot, like I need to change my text. Friends, we have more videos for you. We got we more, have more great stuff Tommy from Tommy. Videos. So uh, check that out while I find out the, the happenings of a <gasps> This was on our street. Yeah, you should, you can go talk about that. This is happening on our street. Well, you know what else is happening on our street? Metaphorically, of course, not our, our, our literal physical street, but our new digital streets here on the information superhighway. Um, you know, Tommy McNamara not only has done all of his work on his own. I see my mom. Tommy McNamara. That's my mom right there in this live video. Don't dox of us. What are you doing? I'm watching my mom get like Don't. way too. Oh, that's not my mom. Okay, that's not my mom, everyone. It was just another Karen looking lady. Oh, uh, you just. Okay. <laughs> I 100% thought was my mom from behind and was like, Mom, you're getting too close to other humans. I have no idea where this is. And right up the street. Okay. Literally, literally Stop a block. Stop doxing. Up. Okay, this episode's not being archived because you doxed us too much. How did I dox us? A vehicle crashed into a building a block away from us in San Francisco. That's true. Vehicles are crashing into anyway, buildings all the time. Here's a great video <laughs> that I was trying to pitch throw to because not only has he done yes, I agree, Tig, don't dox don't dox your mom. But you know what we don't have to I don't have a good segue, so I would segue bumper here, but here's here's pre principal suspenders on the special. My name is Principal Steve Suspenders, or as the students call me, Principal Suspenders. Just the student, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, I gotta run down the rules for you, Robin Feed. Now let me tell you something. Here's all of our rules. Rule number one, if you use an iPad in the iPad free hallway, you are going to get suspended, okay? Uh, here's another rule. If you're absent, or as the kids call it, ghosting school, <laughs> you are going to get suspended. One more for you, kids. If you even think about quaaludes, you are going to get suspended. Okay, if you are stoned out of your cabeza in Senora Ruttenberg's Spanish class, let me hear it, everybody. Woo! You are yeah. Yeah. Get suspended. suspended. Yeah. You suspended. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you show up to French class, ho ho ho, and uh, je suis stoned out of your cabeza, you are going to get suspended, Kelsey. One more for you. If you show up to Russian class, say hello to our president. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love the special. I love the special so much. Let's show some of the videos that Tommy has been making yes. during this quarantine. Friends, these videos were published but weeks ago. Yes. But weeks. Like this one right here that I'm going to play next oh was published April 27th, 2020. So in this very, very, very long year. But this is an amazing video. So here we go. This is Soundtrack Nerds. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Soundtrack Nerds. I'm 
Tommy Soundtrack. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of soundtrack. So basically, I'm going to put this video up on the other side of the screen. It's of a squirrel playing around with a Nutella container. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Um, but I'm going to show you that just based off what music I play, the way you feel about the video totally changes. Like, watch. If I want to make the video inspiring, listen to this. Wow. <laughs> Or what if I wanted to give the squirrel more of a tropical feel? Hmm? <laughs> or what if I wanted to make it a little scary? <laughs> oh no, that squirrel is scary now. <laughs> I want something like um, jaunty, like a classic piano. Phone's ringing. <clears throat> these fucking scam calls. Piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking answer. Hey, <laughs> don't ever call this fucking number again. I fucking hate these calls. <laughs> okay, I've seen reply to all. I know how to fucking find you. And I'm gonna kill you. You piece of shit. You piece of fucking shit. I know where you live or I will. <laughs> Or maybe it's like um, a <laughs> science fiction squirrel. <laughs> I just love that video. I so love much. that video so. I much. love the aside. Uh, I love the frustration, frustrated call. I think it's a great example both of Tommy's musical skill and his skill at playing a um uh, uh, um angry character. True. And like the whiplash of emotions, yeah. which I adore, yeah. as well as the misdirection, which I adore as a comedy styling. I want to apologize to everyone for how fucking distracted I am because someone backed a car into a house, like right up the street. Like I've been inside that house. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So. I mean, thankfully it's a San Francisco house. So like it, it was really just like the garage area, I think, that has structural damage. But you know why someone backed their car into a house? Do you know why? Because they were not watching the comedy stylings of Tommy McNamara on this show right now, which they should have been. That almost sounds like they just physically like dance backed up like into the house. <laughs> like back it up. And like it's like a real like like smooth like. <laughs> like someone was just really fucking fly outside. <laughs> uh, let's watch another video let's watch another tommy video yeah. from quarantine yes friends from quarantine this is what happened uh, yes this one was okay yes that one You too are thrown, I see, by the person who backed their fucking car into a house. Uh, no, it's just that they couldn't see the years in the list. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Tig. 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 Nice car, though. It's a Lexus. It's a red Lexus. Also, Head Cheese says you are awesome and your distractions are okay and valid. You are so sweet. Which is so very sweet. sweet. That's a Lexus, right? That's like a really expensive car. I mean, we live in an expensive ass know. neighborhood in an expensive ass city. I don't know. So. Let's watch this video instead of speculating about this car crash. What's up? So, during all this, the thing I miss the most is the NBA. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> so, basically, what I've done is created a full court in my apartment, and I'm going to play games by myself. I've even got some friends doing the play by play. So, get your popcorn and tune in to the new NBA, Game One. And it's presented by State Farm. And now for the tip. <laughs> the ball is tipped. Tommy gets it. He shoots. He scores on the right side of the room. Woo! Back to the left side. Ooh, oh. that's a 360. We love seeing that. We do, but missed oh, the left wow. side. Wow, it's really 
<laughs> He's getting pretty yeah, winded, it's, huh? It's not a big court. No, come on, man. Just, yeah, good. Good <laughs> job. Yeah, good job. A high five yeah. for a layup? Really? Jesus. Oh, great. Oh, cool, okay, man. Cool. Yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah. You're an idiot. Come on. We want to be entertained. Oh, what, are you going to cry? Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, let's oh, go. baby. And now here comes the T-shirt cannon. <laughs> I agree, Henry. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Good. He sucks. You suck. <laughs> you know, they should put some rocks in there. Oh, I think that would be fun. You know, I I bet he's got a I bet he's got a tiny pair of pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I love that clip. This is what a comedian yeah. can do in quarantine by themselves, perhaps with the one or two roommates. Those two humans may not have even been there. It might have yeah, been one roommate just been. chucking t-shirts and then layering. Oh man. I fucking love to see quarantine vids. I just fucking love quarantine. It's comedy. so cool seeing comedians work with the constraints that we all share right now. Um, and I just, I love there's like ton. There's lots more that we didn't have a chance to show that was were made during quarantine. So if you go to his YouTube there, channel, but we have time. We have time before the pre-show for one more video, friends. There is an entire hour of Union Hall, Tommy Mac McNamara. You can just watch it on YouTube. Yes, that's true. And we had this on last night until we were like, "Fuck, we we just need to find other videos." <laughs> it is extremely delightful, um, and we recommend you all watch. But we have. A, are there any of those clips is it, I mean, from going, it? Going yes, to the doctor or a Christmas proposal or yoga yoga classes from it? Okay. Yeah. yeah so let's watch right. yoga class, which is. It's very good. Yeah, it's very good. It's, it's like a clip from that entire. But event. let's just play it now and get another look at Union Hall. Is that his grandma? <laughs> Did I literally think about every leaving the painting? Day, is the painting his grandma? Hour, uh, <laughs> because it's the craziest sentence I've ever seen. This is the sentence. Yoga class? I thought you said pour a glass. <laughs> <laughs> it is bonkers. <laughs> because it's not yoga class, I'd rather pour a glass, which would be one thing. It's I thought you said. <laughs> so the woman, <laughs> the woman that wrote this just has a hearing problem. <laughs> That's all that's going on here. And we can all agree as a crowd that yoga doesn't rhyme with pour up. <laughs> like it would make more sense if it was Torah class. I thought you said pour a glass. <laughs> then you can only sell it to Jewish teens. They're not even allowed to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think, <laughs> there are I think about this so often students. that I just started carrying it around with me everywhere I go to show people. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. It's my favorite thing in the world. If you're listening, just use your imagination. Uh, it's so fun. I literally just keep it in my pocket, and my only hope is that someday someone's gonna try to assassinate me, and this will stop the bullet. <laughs> and then the cops will be like looking over my body, and they'll pull it up, and they'll just be like, that doesn't even fucking rhyme. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, brother. <laughs> was up was up they couldn't Tommy hear McNamara. that part oh well it just started <laughs> it started the nba one the NBA again one. but Friends, thank you all so thank much thank you all so much for joining us you can get tommy mcmanamara's uh christmas album perfect for the christmas season play it on the repeat constantly you can buy it on his band camp and you can listen to it on spotify and just you can listen to it on spotify right now yes it is pre-ordered on band camp yeah. And you should still continue to play it. You can get mm -hmm. Tommy's album, comedy album, that comedy styling, Who's Tommy with a special thing record. And for a scant $15. Thank you, Local Unknown. A full vinyl. An yeah. actual, beautiful, physical, media, physical, a vinyl. Media but now it is six o'clock. So go to the Discord at planetscum.live. Here's a link if you're new. And listen and if to. You're new, Welcome. You're new, what welcome. A strange what a strange introduction is us right now. To but, us or all of us. But yeah, go to the Discord, listen to the, the pre-show. There's apparently doodling. And be careful when you back up your cars because you can just 